with pride, please, country girls, bring the house, the outer body said, with the bride, the soon to be Mrs. Edith. Asiandem Guru. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome the country girls. Accompanying Mrs. Bruce, welcome the house.
At least the arrangement yesterday was a calling of God. Unfortunately, you break my door. I could decide to seize the room and ask for the repairs, but I will do that. You know, I was satisfied yesterday the way your family came. We welcome you. And uh, I hope that whatever it is, whatever you search for, if it is love,
we should we should eat a little early so that we can have energy to continue the enemy. We have fathers in the house. We shall now call on uh, Father Edmund and his team to come up here and bless this couple and bless this evening and then and bless everybody who is here tonight. Those who have come from Europe, from the East Coast, from the West Coast, and of course, of course. The MC is here from the West Coast. Very good, very, very good. So we want the Reverend Father to come up and bless this city. We are all going to leave this house with wonderful blessings in one way or another. Are they here? Father? Who said Father this? No, we want all the more. No, we want all of them. We want the team of fathers. Father Edmund. We want the whole team. Of. You know the whole team will, you know. Father, I want to welcome. Father Maurice is in the house. Father Edmund is in the house. Father Kasmir is in the house. Father Dennis is in the house. Father Modesto is in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a wonderful team of fathers that has come to bless this union, bless this house, and bless everybody that has come from afar and near. We are blessed tonight. I have never seen this stuff, this kind of a blessing. Um, Father Edmund and Father Morris. Father Morris and Father Edmund, I think one of you maybe is taking the lead. But uh, please, we'll give you the microphone. You come up from where you have the Royal Highness, you have the group and the, and the bride. You people will come and uh, do your thing. Thank you so much. And um, we are going to do it like this. The Uncle Young girls, the options are in the house. The options are in the house. The options will come up. They will sing the anthem. And then after that anthem, the father will now give a blessing tonight. And it's just a perfect, a perfect organization. The options are coming up. They will sing the Uncle Young anthem. And then the fathers will crown this part of it with a wonderful blessing tonight. So the for young girls are coming, right? Okay, please. Very good. And uh, you people know that wherever you have the options, everything begins well and then it ends well. Wherever you have them. They are all over this, the country, from uh, Maryland, from Atlanta, from uh, New York, from everywhere. They have come from all over the country. Upsides. So here they come. Please give them a rising round of applause. Ah, ah, ah. Very good. I was not so happy why I was born the why I was born the boy. Because if I were a woman, I would have, I would have been an officer, even by force. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Poo, we are blessed this evening to have this wonderful group of officers. They have a special way of doing it. They will do their thing. They will sing the Okoyo Anthem and then Father Boris and Father Edmond and the rest of the team, they will come up here and bless us tonight. So I will give the microphone now to the Okoyo girls, the officers.
you thank you for young girls? Oh my goodness! Let me say something, right? Like, I have, a, I have one regret in my life. When I was not born a woman. I, I, I think even right now, I am not an upside. I am not an upside because when they sing like that and you hear those voices, they touch, they touch, they touch your heart. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Anyways, 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 I am an Okoyo boy, right? Then I have, I have my girls, I have my, my daughters. So, I, I will do everything, I'll do everything, we shall ship them to Okoyo. We shall ship them there to Okoyo. Alright, um, we are going to invite Father Edmond and Father Maurice and their team. There are five fathers here tonight. Five. Five in number. I've never seen this kind of a blessing. Father Abed Unakamo. And for those of us who have, uh, have been going to places here, we know that I'm a Your Royal Highness, we, we have the honor and the pleasure to introduce you the Reverend Fathers who have come in here tonight. This is Father Edmund. This is Father Maurice. This is Father Modestus. This is Father Casmier. And finally, this is Father Davis. We are going to flank the couple and surround them and do their thing and wish them the best of the best and wish them the protection of the highest order. And any other blessing that will come with this kind of occasion. Um, like I said before, it's such a very powerful team. We are, we have, uh, we are blessed to have uh, the Edmond. But uh, you have always done your thing so straight. But uh, we want you to take this microphone and shoot straight and quick. Thank you so much. Maybe I will decide to take like 20 minutes. I'll just manage 20 minutes. May we stand please. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, Lord, for your blessings. We
thank you, we thank you. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you for all of us that are here. We thank you for every We thank you for Edith. We thank you for the union. We thank you for all of us that are here. We ask you to bless all of us. Bless this occasion. Bless this union for the greater glory of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. And Almighty God, bless all of us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. Thank you, Father. Um, we will call on the country girls to please come forth and sing a special song of praise. Country girls, please. Country girls, please.
is a hard act to follow. I told our country girls, y'all haven't seen the last of them yet. So, Mr. David, it will be waiting for you guys at St. Anne's Church in Salem soon. I beg, Father, Una, Una, give me one second. Maybe we appreciate Una before Una. Mother Morris, we want to appreciate Una before Una go. Um, please, I just want to say that we as a community, we are so blessed to have our own brothers actually serving us. I have never seen this kind of a thing. And the mere fact that they will leave their other things out there and come and serve us in this special way is a wonderful blessing. And I want all of us again to give them a rousing round of applause and thank them. You know, but I thank you so much. Very good. Thank you so much. And, um, we are going to enter the second phase of the of the evening tonight. Now, when we eat and we get more energy, we shall now start the occasion again and fresh. You know, and um, sis, you we'll pick up from here no? because uh, a few announcements. If you have your car parked here, please make arrangements so that it goes to the red parking place at the school. Because our neighbors do not want cars around here. Then number two, if you have family that have come and they are out there at the parking lot, please indicate so that we can get the shuttle to go bring them here. We hear some people are over there waiting. All right, thank you so much. You know, normally they will say it's time for item 11, but I don't know, I counted when we started. I don't know if we have gotten to item 11 yet. We have six, try your own arithmetic. The only one arithmetic in me I know for here today, now one plus one equals to what is? One plus one equals two. Okay. If you take one, you add up for one, you go reach 11. So you need to item 11, don't. Who did not? No man. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being a witness to this wonderful, this wonderful tra um, tradition, this beautiful ceremony of love between Edith and Eric. We are going to head on, and the ladies are in charge of the food. They say the food is ready. And so, we're going to usher our guests to the table, starting with the bride and the groom. We want to make sure that they appreciate what they, you know, the table that they have worked so hard to set before you all. So we want them to go there and appreciate it first, before the rest of their esteemed guests go to the table. And so, and so, we're going to invite Edith, Mr. and Mrs. Boo to the table. And they are going to be accompanied They are going to be accompanied by the royal court.
Hello? Very good. All right. We want to kind of put some order here. The royal family, they have come to the table. The reverend fathers and the whole team are now going to the table. The uncle young ladies and the husbands and the other ladies, the country girls will go to the table. Oh, the country girls are sitting, right? The uncle young ladies should come to the table and then all our guests all the guests in here tonight will follow and come to the table. 
Mr. Fu and his family will be the last to go to the table. Why? Because they are hosting all of us tonight. So, please, just take your time, go to the table, get what you want, give space for some other people who also come over. We don't have enough space, but do the best that you can to manage the space that we have. While we are doing this, um, we now want the DJ to play us some music. All right, the music is live, right? Very good, very good. All right, Hello. By the time people are taking some food, my name is Marco. I'm the singer of the Blazer Group. When you are coming to eat, please bring your plate from downstairs. There are plates on the table. Grab your plate, come upstairs, get your food, and then go settle up. Here. Thank you so much. The Blazer Group, right? We now have the floor. Thank you very much. I was telling you that I'm a Marco Sosa, and I'm the singer for Bla from Blazer Group. And um, I want to congratulate the, the room and everybody come here. So, by the time people are taking some food, we're going to sing some live song, some soul song to entertain people. Now, do me do something now, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Nous réticons guère. Avancez dans mon nouveau-né, 
Balayez, balayez, balayez Les blessures de mon passé Tout paraît bon, tout paraît léger Comme si le monde avait songé C'est la vie, la vie, la vie, oh, la vie Elle est bien la divine amie Nous dévisage et nous sourire C'est la vie, la vie la vie, oh, la vie, elle est bien la divine amie, nous dévisage et nous sourire. C'est la vie, la vie, la vie, oh, la vie, elle est bien la divine amie, Merci. nous dévisage et nous sourire. C'est la vie, la vie, la vie, oh, la vie. Et du mystère de la magie, je me sens faire, ça me ravit. C'est la vie, la vie, la vie, oh, la vie, elle est bien la divine amie, nous dévisage et nous sourire. C'est la vie, la vie, la vie, oh, la vie, c'est du mystère de la magie. Me donne des ailes et des envies. La place de Romantique. Hein. Il y avait sur une plage une fille. Il pleurait, je voyais sur son visage
la planète venue à Fia, la planète des amoureux. Conduis-moi s'il te plaît à Fia, extasie-moi ma belle à Fia. Zeli mana donga yo na zezo na bafaye. So long say, mona biye. Zeli mongo sanga yo na zezo. Boni mana makuko. de moi ce soir à Fia à la planète venue à Fia la planète des amoureux conduis-moi s'il te plaît à Fia extasie-moi ma belle à Fia maman maman C'est le mari à son gaillon, à mon beau, à ma voix. C'est le mariage aujourd'hui, on s'amuse, on chante. Na 
Il n'est jamais trop tard, il n'est jamais trop tard. Mes amis sont tous mariés, mes copains sont tous mariés. Je suis célibataire. Il n'est jamais trop tard, il n'est jamais trop tard. Mes amis sont bien logés, mes copains sont bien logés. Je suis sans abri. Il n'est jamais trop tard. Il est jamais trop tard, mes amis sont tous partis, mes copains sont tous partis, cherchez le bonheur, moi je suis resté, je suis le gardien de nos traditions. Des réseaux. Bala to tua Oh, 
Que je suis au courant, tu m'as rentré, c'est tes parents en courant. Va-t'en, va-t'en, je dis va-t'en, va-t'en, je n'en peux plus, tu m'as déçu. Ah non, non. Ne faites pas ça, non, non. Va-t'en, je dis va-t'en. Je n'en peux plus, tu m'as déçu. Ah non, non. Ah non, non, non. Je n'en peux plus, tu m'as déçu. Danser la salsa et rester tous aux jeunes. À tous les salsons du monde entier, hein? on a ce soir, on célèbre le mariage. Ne faisons pas ça chez nous. C'est le dialogue. Hein? C'est le dialogue. On résout les problèmes. On fait la causerie. Et à tout ça, tu viens là, everyday. We gotta be friends. We gotta communicate. Yeah. Va t'en, va t'en. Je dis va t'en, va t'en. Je n'en peux plus. Tu m'as déçu. Ah non non. Ah non non non. Je n'en peux plus. Tu m'as déçu. Ah non, non. Ah non, non, non. Nalo, 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 
Avant ma hausse, ça me souffle. Oh, c'est pour le ventilateur. Pépé, ça me souffle. Oh, c'est pour le ventilateur. Pépé. J'ai envie de te dire que je t'aime Oh, pour respirer mon amour Il y a des moments aussi J'ai envie de te dire que je t'aime Tout simplement pour respirer mon amour Il y a des moments aussi j'ai envie de te dire que je t'aime Oh, pour esquimer mon amour Il y a des moments où t'es fait J'ai envie de te dire que je t'aime Tout simplement pour esquimer mon amour Quand tu voyages Tu vas si loin de moi Voyage bébé, tu vas si loin de moi Mon cœur ne va ni pas si fort pour toi Mais quand tu voyages, tu vas si loin de moi Mon cœur va si fort pour toi All right. Wonderful. Um, this pandemic don't do something. We have not had an opportunity to to get a good feel of good times anymore. So after two years, we are having the very first occasion to get a sense of what it is to step out of your four walls again. We want to thank the Blazers. This is a terrific performance. Live music only comes in important occasions. My brothers, I want to tell you that you have exceptional talent. And uh, it looks like we have discovered something tonight. We will be inviting you to many of our occasions. And then, um, we want to continue from where we ended. We have a few speeches to make. And then after those speeches, the bride and the groom, who are now Mr. and Mrs. Boo, they will leave, they will go change. Then they will come, we shall officially open the floor and continue the evening. But before they go, we want to recognize one important group. We want to recognize them in the house. The lovely sisters, they are in the house. So when the couple will change and come back, we shall invite the lovely sisters to start getting ready. Because when the couple comes back, they will have important official business to do when they come back. In the meantime, we are inviting a number of people to give us a few words. We are already late into the night. It's getting to midnight. If you have a statement to make, please be conscious of time. At most two minutes to just greet us and tell us how important you feel tonight on this occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start from those who have 
of us here today who made all this possible. Those who are giving us the gift of their daughter, giving the bulls the best of what they have, and giving the bulls the best of what they bring. So we are going to call Mafua Gonfoleke, who is the bride's elder sister, to please say a word. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mafua Gonfoleke. Good evening to all of you. I would like to thank all of you, the Mafos in this house, the Fonts in this house, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, distinguished guests, all of you who came from far and wide to experience this wonderful event, this union between Afia and Bo. I thank you for coming. And what I'm about to say to you folks, it's not a, I don't consider it a speech, it's rather a narrative. So I'm just going to um, succinctly state down some of the stuff you don't know about Afia and them. Those of you who were here yesterday heard quite a lot about the family, but I'm going to revisit some of what was said yesterday and try to put things into perspective. My name is Evelyn Fuleke, and I have a title that was given to me by the form of a sorter. That's why I'm called Mafon Kong. So that will tell you that I'm royalty. If I'm not from Kong, I am royalty. So I come from the royal palace. So this is leading us somewhere. If I come from the royal palace, and my sister is half here and them, that will tell you something about her. That means she too is royalty. While she might not be a Mafua, she's a royal, as I am. And oftentimes, she may not find the need to flaunt it, but those of us from the royal palace are treated differently. We are from that privileged line of, you know, royalty that is taken seriously from where I come. Again, I wish those of you speaking behind there can give us your time and just pay a little attention. So, I will go back to this table and introduce some important people in Afia and them's life. We did this yesterday, this exercise, but it's very important that I revisit the issue. So here is our father. If you look up there, that's our father. That's the patriarch of the family who's been deceased 10 years, since 10 years. His name was Callistus Alem John Folleke. He too ended up having a title prior to dying, and his title was for Belenara. His successor is right here, and this is Chief for Belenana. After Chief for Belenana, we have in the house the one that represents Forrest Asomtia, the second, who is the form of a soldier. Ian, if the form were not here, she will be the one to make important decisions. Her name is Mafo Anifwe. And after that, Afianem's brother is Galos 
Lerehaza Fortabon. He's right here. So that's that on the father's side. I tell people oftentimes that my father's side of the family, they are quiet people, they make no trouble, but my mother's side of the family, they are scrappy people. They will scratch, they will bite, and they will kick, and they will tear you down. So, you don't want to play with the four means. They are not, they are not really, they are not people to be messed around with. They have the totem. If you know what a totem is, what we call the gorillas, we call them the bull cups. That family has the bull cups. And I'm telling you, the leader of the bull cups is right there. Uncle John Ndi Kemawo. That's him. My mother's side of the family. Yeah, I'm telling you, those people that fight, they're scrappy. My mother said that they're just scrappy people. And then you have his wife, Mary Awonken. Okay, and then I'm not going to leave out my significant other, Miss Robert Falvey. And Mr. Robert Forby has a Bangwa name. He's for Timber, meaning someone with a good heart. <laughs> now, let's go back to Afiandem. So, Afiandem actually means something that's good. Afia, a gift from God. Afia and them is God's gift. That's the meaning of Afia and them. Yeah, my mother had an aunt that was very dear to my mother. She was deaf. But I tell you, she was the prettiest woman in the village. And men used to go to the village on market days just to see Afia and them. So mama named Edith after her favorite aunt, Afia and them. She was there, yeah, 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 yeah. I was a little girl and each time my dad took me to the village, she'd be like, that's your mother's aunt. She was so gorgeous. She was like something from out of the magazine or something and men love her. But then she could play too. She was a good player. Yeah. So we've talked about that. And now, you're going to be wondering what this woman, this quarter to woman is talking about Afia and them, her sister. So I was an only child, and I was an only child for almost 18 years. And my parents did all this magical stuff. My mother, poor thing, poor Antonia, they went to all these hospitals. And they said, Mr. Foleke, we don't know what it is, but we can't find any, any problems. So, but your wife can't give birth, so we really don't know. And so, my dad did not believe in voodoo stuff. He just wasn't the type. He was Catholic. And so, my mother was like, let's try this other thing, and let's try that, and let's try that. No children came. So, for almost 17 years, I was an only child. Yeah, that's the truth. And when the time was right, from out of nowhere, just nowhere, miraculously, somehow, my mom became pregnant and she refused to believe that she was pregnant. It was like a miracle. Because for, during this period, I had enjoyed this whole holy child thing, and I still have that in me, some holy child syndrome thing going on. So, mom was pregnant with my brother, the chief for Belenanga. And, yeah. Yeah, it's really noteworthy that my mother, by profession, was a seamstress and had several apprentices. But my mother refused to do any baby's preparations like it cannot be. What if it's a tumor? How can it be a child? I've looked for ch children all these years and I didn't have children and all of a sudden. So she started taking this pregnancy serious. In the last semester, trimester, that's when she actually started doing preparation, putting things together. And then she gave birth to my brother Nick, and I'm going to fast forward. Then you would have thought they had an incubator in their bedroom, and then came my sister Salome, and then came my sister Edie, and then came my sister Linda, and then came my si after Linda, my parents decided to practice birth control. Okay. Yeah. This yeah, this is a real life, this is really it's a real life story. So now this couple that 
that had been childless for 70 years, now they have five children and all of a sudden, they think five is enough, let's practice birth control. So there was this doctor traveling the world from America, they call him Dr. Billings. So he was giving birthing classes. If you want to practice birth control, my parents went to Dr. Billings and what do you know, mom still got pregnant. Yeah. And so the girl is in Australia, my sister Georgiana is the baby of the fa family. And so that's that now, let's keep it there. So, the reason I'm bring, taking you through this whole lengthy story, there's a reason. Because remember that little girl sitting there is royalty. Yes, so she is very accomplished. So she's an accomplished woman. So what do you do when you combine royalty and an accomplished woman you get? What is she? She is precious cargo. Precious cargo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so, an accomplished woman by her own right, and she is from the palace. She is precious cargo. Okay. So, I'm going to cut it short pretty soon. So, boo, for your information, boo, I have, I have, I have five siblings. Just if you don't know, yeah, 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 thank you. If you don't know, just if you don't know, we amongst ourselves, we kind of figured that's not for Antonia's favorite. We think so. We kind of figured that out amongst ourselves. She won't tell you that, but that's what we figured out. But she, of all the siblings, is very sensitive. You must know that by now. She's a sweetheart, but she's very sensitive. So you got to go very easy on that little girl. and that might scare the crap out of you. When Edith brings you to the village, you will realize that she is truly royalty. Because on the last day, when you visit the village, the phone has to take you into what we call a thing. And my voice here, I'm not lying. That's a thing is to test. It could scare the living thing out of you. So there, you have the scoff of all our grandparents. It's scary. It could be intimidating. You could get scared. So this is the time to run away, if you will. So it has, yeah. So the first time I saw it, it was a little eerie, right? So our grandfather, Foreta Beninci, his skull is there. Our grandfather, for a care of one home, his skull is dead, looking at you. Our grandfather, for a care of Sotia, his skull is dead. Our grandfather, for a care of one home, his skull is dead. So all those skulls tells you that you are truly married to royalty. But um, on a much more concrete note, though, I'm really glad love is a difficult thing to come by. So when you do find someone that you truly love, you might want to hang, hang uh, like really stay true to that person. And uh, my piece of advice to you too is in every relationship, the key to success is transparency. You must be transparent. Once that trust is broken, you cannot salvage that relationship. So you must really, uh, really be transparent in your relationship. That's the key. But I did jot down a little something to end this long talk. So, may love strengthen you in. May love strengthen you in this new relationship. May love anchor you in the most important things in life. 
May love carry you when the road is hard to walk. May love shape you, shape your heart as one. May love hold you so close that nothing in the world can come between you. Let love be your guide in all things. Wishing you happiness in your marriage. I thank you so very much for your time. I love you both. And all I can say is take care of that precious cargo. Thank you so much, Mafua. You know, sometimes we need to be reminded about what we get. She, she rightly said it, precious cargo. That cargo, they so may had no egg. Aye! Mrs. Sarawaka Ufu from Seattle come. Hey! Hey! Mafua, the way you talk that cargo. Mr. Boo, hmm. 2,786 miles ago, Waka Ufu. Thank you very much. Next. And um, just to compliment that, I think when a man loves a woman, he can actually do anything. The boo that I know will not be scared by scores. The boo that I know is going to face those calls smiling and inviting them like friends. So, um, Yes, yes. No, it's already dead. It's already dead. But that's all. That, that's all. That's all. Um, so, like we said, let us invite Mrs. Magin Mokoro to come and also give us a little bit of a, what she feels about this evening and especially the younger brother and I know that she's only going to say the good things so sis come up here and please let me grab your indulgence I'll make two quick announcements if you want to go to the parking lot please just step outside at the door there's somebody who will uh, escort you to the parking lot and then number two there's a car at the parking lot with lights on. The guy is registered in Virginia, number UES 5707. The car has lights. If you don't go turn off the lights, you will not be able to drive that car home tonight. Please. Sister Maggie, you have the floor. very brief because Mufu said two minutes but unfortunately I used to be a school teacher so I don't know what two minutes is yeah I know that I'm talking to this side of the family you'll be surprised that my first teaching job was in Fortem <laughs> yeah when I finished uh, teacher training I was posted to Fontaine to open up the first domestic science center in Fontaine. So I know the Menji and you know, it's been years, it's been so many years, but that was my first job. And when I got to Fontaine, I thought it was the most difficult place to live in because there were so many hills, Uncle Boo. I don't know how you're gonna climb them all, but I'm not coming with you. <laughs> I want to thank this family. I want to thank everybody that's here this evening to support both families and to support who and Edith in this union. Thank you all. I'm not going to call names. I'm Boo's older sister. My aunt was supposed to be here who represents my mom, but unfortunately she fell sick. This whole side here, that's Boo's brothers from the same womb, Boo's cousins, all of them from North Carolina, uh, Chicago, 
Virginia, they're from all over. The reason they're here is because this is one of the most important things in our family. When our brother is taking on a precious cargo, how can we not be there to help him give the lift? That way that cargo does not rate. The cargo has no scratch.
goodness. My goodness. I did not expect that. Did you guys? I just brought out my ear. Uh, hey! No, no, no. We used to think in Bangwa we are strong. Hmm. Mafwa. And people, they come out to Chai. Hmm. The team can say, my eyeglass is one shape. Chai. Hello. Hey. What we're talking about y'all. Please give the bulls a hand of applause. You know when I was uh, listening to Sister here talk and she said she'd been to for them. You know because I was going to tell them that since she's been there I know talk me again. Because as you are not know if you know what for who know but if you come out from them, it means that you don't road for who? Because sister, if you don't go from them, you mean that you practice for go who? Because when you enter Moto, Moto make so you look valley for down. You go your rosaria, you pray on. You come from from them, you look Moto, you look for down. Moto make so you hold your rosaria, you pray on. Now the same people. So the union, so God be down fix that. You know, you see that one? He made so. Hey! You didn't say, Heli Maria, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's such a small world. Sis, we thank you. We're going to continue this and we will call on Mr. Peter. Tamanjo. Mr. Peter Tamanjo is a friend and family member of the Bulls, and so we will hear a word from you. Thank you very much. Um, Peter Tamanjo, the friend of the uh, Bulls, the friend for uh, Sola. You uh, see, Sola, I'm also my friend of the Okay, then. So, um, I've been friends with you for this abroad as well. Um, so, you can see if you look at uh, somebody, look at the friends, you can tell who that person is. Uh, you go downstairs and see the amount of friends that accompany Boo here. And uh, you saw yesterday as well, it tells you that uh, it's a man of character, it's a guy who who believes a lot in himself. You can see him when he talks, you can see when he walks, when he dances, you can see that he's very confident. Um, we have a, a bunch of friends um, here yesterday, the downstairs, upstairs, and um, I want to tell you that every time that you want to see who, really you see the Lord. And um, it is you, you know that right? So you see you see what you love. So if you recall, I want to talk a little bit about Edith. Um it was last year. That's the first time that most of our friends met Edith. Um, she she organized a very sweet birthday for Boo. But at the beginning we were in front we she stood behind and let the friends stand in front. But at the first the end of the party, she said, uh, you know what, I'll come out. She came out and she, uh, she talked so sweet about Boo. Even though she complained that uh, when she doesn't want you to sleep, you will sleep. I just want to tell you, bro, you don't sleep when she doesn't want to sleep. Yes. Right, so I say that as a friend, so you, you know what I mean. So, but truly speaking, um, it's a it's a it's really a privilege to be part of the family, and uh, we all that uh, your your door is in good hands. And uh, we need we need we need someone to talk to talk to aspects. I don't want to go to your family to complain first, right? Your family should be the last resort. 
we're here to support you. If you need something, come to us. If Buddha doesn't listen to us, I don't think you should listen to us. But he's very obedient. Um, sometimes he's very loud. Sometimes he's very loud. Sometimes he's very loud. Sometimes very lousy. Sometimes, but he listens a lot. So I want to thank you for giving us the opportunity to be part of the family. And we will be there with Edith. And you can trust that you give your daughter to the people. Thank you. He said, Boo can be very loud. I want to tell you that Edith is very quiet. The Chinese call it the yin to his yang. Now that one, now he's fine. If you shout, 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 finish, they look you, you, she don't, you quiet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Mr. Tavenjong. You know, you only know a man from the words that the people closest to him say. And it's the same thing for a woman. You only know a woman from not what from what she says, but what from what the people around her have to say. And for Edith, it's two sisters of hers, two friends who are more than sisters, who are more than friends, who can tell you. We know Mafua said talked about her baby sister. But my father been a grandson. Grandson only. You know Sabi. So we're going to call on Dr. Francis Cambella, who is all the way from the great state of Nevada, to come say a word about her friend Edith. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Francis Cambella, please give her a hand. Thank you. Thank you, Edith and Eric, for having us here. Um, I really didn't plan to say anything, but I was called to say something, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to say. But I know I'm going to speak from my heart. I've known Edith for, I'm not going to say how long, because I don't want you all to date her. I've really, I could say I've known her all my life. Um, she's more like a sister to me, and she's not a friend. I met Eric um, about four years ago, and I knew right away, knowing Edith, that Eric was going to be the person for Edith. Edith is quiet, so I've talked to uh, Eric a number of times, but I'm going to tell you, you're going to have to be a man leader. She's not going to tell you exactly what she wants, but she's going to expect you to know what she wants. Um, I cannot tell you how many times I've fallen out with Edith. Eric will tell you, but I'm that person that will hold her feet to the fire. I'm still here and I'm always going to be here for you guys. I'm going to hold your foot to the fire. You're not going to like what you hear, but you know I'm always going to keep it honest. Um, the one thing I want us to really celebrate is I want us to celebrate living your truth. I think um, when, when Edith has told, when she told me this is what she was doing, I, I said to her, I know this is not an easy decision for you. It might seem easy, but it's actually the harder path to take. The easier path to take is to just be complacent and live with what is easy. But she chose to do what is hard, and I want us to celebrate that. She chose the hard part. She chose to live her truth. And that is not easy. And I want us to really celebrate that. I wish we had a glass close to that. Um, but we're here for to celebrate what she has chosen to be her truth. And I don't take it for granted because for a lot of us, we're very complacent because it is just easy. I want us to celebrate the truth. I want us to celebrate living life with purpose. I want us to celebrate living life the way we want to live life. And I think Eric 
is what gives her that purpose. She's always dreamed of this life. And I'm thankful that you're here to live that life with her. You make, you make her complete. You know how to deal with her. When she starts flaring up and she's, you just look at her and just laugh. So I want to thank you for that. And, you know, our sister here talked about your two individuals. I want to really create that. You're two individuals and you're going to remain two people. You're not, Edith is not going to become you or you. Edith is not going to become the person that you want her to become. Edith is going to remain who she is. And you are going to remain Eric, the person that you are. Don't try to fit into what Edith is describing for you. If you like to dance, and she doesn't like you to dance, please dance. Okay? If she doesn't like you to dance, please dance. Please do not stop to be who you are. And Edith, if you love to travel by yourself, and he doesn't want you to travel by yourself, please allow her to travel by herself. Because it is when we learn each individual and when we live who we are supposed to be, that we bring the fullness of who we are into a relationship. She cannot give what she doesn't have. Please support her to be who she's meant to be. And AJ, please support Eric to be who he's meant to be, so that together both of you can blossom. I will always be here, I will always tell you the truth, and I'll always be with you through this journey. Thank you. I cannot talk that. Hmm. Hmm. That has no follow-up. Did y'all hear that? Has no follow-up. Full stop. I'm going to call Edith's other sister. Edith's other half. Edith's other confidant. Mrs. Evelyn Nkeya Nyonchebe to come up and I don't know if she's going to top that. There's no way. I don't know if she can match that. I'm not trying to. Just be you, sweetheart. That's what they say. Be you, even in this one. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Nyonchebe. Francisca, Francisca, thank you. There's no way I can beat that. But you brought so much joy into this house. If you are happy and you know you say amen. amen. If you are happy and you know you say amen. amen. If you are happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you are happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you are happy and you know it, say the boos. If you are happy and you know it, say the boos. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, say the boost. My sister and my brother, this is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad. Amen. I have known Edith all my life. I found them. It's my sister. Afyan Dem is a very private person. And I just watch her. And whatever she wants to do, I let her do it. Because Afyan will go above and beyond to make everyone happy with herself. Regardless of what you do to try to make her happy, she feels uncomfortable about it. Where, Evie? Why no?
When I met Boo for the very first time, Abia didn't tell me anything. I looked, I didn't ask. Because ask no questions or you be told no. The second time I met him, I said, Afia, when I looked at this man, I see love in his eyes. Afia, in her gentle voice, said, Ibi, what do you mean? <laughs> When he talks, he looks at you straight in your eyes. I feel so really. I said yes. And then the next time I met them again, I said, I feel you love this man so much. I feel so if you sure. I didn't ask what was going on, I was just talking. Afia said, you sure? I said, yeah. She said, why? I said, Afia, every time he calls you, you pick up your phone and look at it and say, where, how the money happened me so <laughs> Then you pick up the phone and say, hello? <laughs> so, amid all this, Afia then never told me who he was. And I assume I decided to start speaking. So, I feel then will never tell you anything that she's not sure about. Like everybody has said here, she's very quiet. However, she's very observant. And when she talks, she's a woman of her words. She doesn't leave her. She tells you like it is in very few words. I heard Auntie say, Afia is very quiet. Yes, she's quiet. Very, very quiet. But if you step on her toes, she will break your leg. Yes. So, in spite of the fact that she's very quiet, So you what you call them again? Buka. <laughs> so Afia and Mu. I thank you guys for taking this very bold step. Because like Franka said, it is not easy. People get complacent and they want to just live and just keep living the extraordinary. Live the ordinary. This is the ordinary. If you find a man that you truly love, it's a blessing. If you find a woman that you truly love, it's a blessing. So, you guys have been looking for love, you have found love. You guys have been looking for affection, I see it in your eyes. And I thank God for that. You guys need to accommodate each other. It is not easy. Like everybody has said in this house, Afia, you will not be boo, boo you will not be Afia. You guys be your unique selves, and life will just flow. Put God first in your life in everything that you do. Amen. Every week, once a week at least, go to church. It will be better to go on Sunday so that you kick off your week with God in your, in your life. When you find God, you find peace. And when you find peace, you find love. And when you find love, there's no need. May God bless you guys. May God keep you guys. And whatever your heart's desires are, let them be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Uh, I did not introduce her properly. I did not introduce my friend Mrs. Mwachimben properly. Her middle name, her last name, or her middle name happens to be Kia. Her brother happens to be the, Arch the Archbishop of Bermuda. So when I hear the prayer, so no be, no be, you know, Lennon, you know, 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 you
John tell me the day I will fly come. I walk out of food to I know to the common for Sierra Rush or Massachusetts. I don't be in love. Uh, it's not for Sierra, I'll just have a family of food here. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much. Mrs. Nyonchembe, we could not top that. As we hear and listen to all these beautiful pieces of advice for Eric and Eddie, we just also want to let you know that even though you're looking at your watches and you feel like it's time to go home, the evening is just starting. We're going to call on our live musician to come in and play some music so that we can all digest these words that we've heard. We don't hear when a small secret. Eddie, you be the tonton with him and you know tell your friend. Yes. You know, you didn't tell me. I'll be president of course again. And so, let's digest this piece of information and see how we are going to carry it into the next phase. I know you guys have eaten. I know you guys are drinking. Let me tell you, if you ate one plate, there's two more waiting for you. If you are not finished that chocolate, come over there after you. Warning. Now by force. We are come to play. These people, we are see these people so they come out they don't come play. They have brought more than enough for you guys. There is food and drinks and you guys while Mr. and Mrs. go out to get ready for the next phase, there is food and drinks, and if we are not finished, we will not be good. DJ, give us some music. Let us be digesting this information that we've heard. Any man ready is said, if you can hear and your boss cannot flop, Miss Rita Boo is the banker. She's sitting right here. So if your posts are not from now, because the people there, when they come, yeah. never will call police. Yeah. We go check the rich of ground. Even Mrs. Edmund and need them, they swear. I believe they need them for a for you. Yeah. So, DJ, give us some music, and then we are going to get into the next phase of the program. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Embrassez-moi, mon amour. Aux yeux de paix, ce que j'adore. L'amour sous la plage de la Réunion est en salé. Ah ouais. Je passe ma vie dans les avions. Je t'aime. Fais-moi cadeau. Fais-moi cadeau. Fais-moi bisous. Les amours de ma 
sages sont comme des tempêtes qui se terminent toujours et que la pluie s'arrête. Je n'oublierai jamais de ma vie la jolie femme avec les yeux aux couleurs de pluie. Les yeux aux couleurs de pluie. La jolie femme que j'adore. C'est elle que je veux, 
Et c'est tel que j'adore, c'est tel que je veux. Et c'est tel que j'adore. Elle s'appelle Marie. Et moi je l'appelle Marie à Elle s'appelle Rafia. Et moi je l'appelle Afia Toué. Elle s'appelle Rafia. Et moi je l'appelle Afia Toufoko. Une femme m'a opposé. Embrasse-moi partout, hein? Partout, partout, partout.
pride and groom are making their first official entry as Mr. and Mrs. Boo. Remember when they first showed up here? It was Eric with his friends of Boston. It was Afia with her country girls. And so now it is time to welcome Mr. and Mrs. Boo. And they will be welcomed with a serenade from none other than Little Miss Boo. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up as she welcomes her dad and her new mother. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Miss Boo.
are we are going to we are going to enter into another important part of this evening. The couple have just come here. They will have one or two more dances and then we shall continue for the rest of the evening. There's a particular song. There's particular. This is a special song, so uh, please come and do your thing. This music is specially for the couple. They are dancing. For those of you who have money to me for hotel, are they calling? If you have anything to go support them right there as they do it, this is also one of those moments. You can go over there and do your thing. Come on, please. 
There is no time to waste. And while the options are marching in, the club of Boston is getting ready. Thank you so much, the lovely ladies, the best of friends. You've actually demonstrated that it's good to belong to groups like this. Thank you so much, best of friends. And now, the options are right here. And please, don't create some space here. Uh, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. You people are up to some very serious business tonight. Please use it for the options. Music, please. Very good. The options are matching it. And here they come. Thank you, the girls of 
Koya for this very special and spectacular performance. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You know, we did say they want to do the the special way. They do the activity the special way. Thank you for your girls. Thank you. Thank you for your girls. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Please give them a round of applause. Wow, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You know, the, uh, the events of tonight, are revealing a lot of things. One of the things that is seemingly emerging from tonight's occasion is that who are the wife are really, you know, an attractive figures. They are attracting a lot of people here and um, one of those groups that is very fervent and that wants also to make an impressive presence here tonight is the club of boston please music for the club of boston and that club is headed by mr carlos and, and the club of boston is deciding to come in the sister and sister should be getting ready. Sister and sister. Sister, get it ready. This is the original club of Boston. The club of Boston.
Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. So, Mr. Wu. So, um, Bu, Eddie, this is the plot. You can miss them, they're all there. They look, they look alike, right? And, and this is your other family, as we always do. If you have a birthday, it's our birthday. Whatever you're going through, we all go through the same thing. So we're here tonight for you guys. Exactly. This is our wedding. It's my All right. So we're not gonna get too much of your invitation time tonight. So we have something uh, for you and. Uh, this, this, this is our special gift to our wife. Uh, this is on behalf of the whole club, your whole family. So, so, the club, hey! Right? Um, so, we're so happy just to let you know. Uh, we're here tonight and we're going to celebrate with you until the end of the, the celebration. So, uh, again, the club has prepared uh, this uh, for you guys. Uh, so, uh, Mr. DJ Romeo, if uh, you want to give that to uh, Boo and Edith. Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay, no, this is, this is just uh, a check. Uh, you guys can see it's is payable to Eric to go and uh, we'll let you discover uh, what you want in there. So, <laughs> the All right. no, he's gonna discover. He, yes, yes, please. Can you get it? Please go ahead. Okay, can you, can you guys uh, uncover your stuff, please? Uh, okay. That's a, that's triple house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Uh, open check by six digits. <laughs> Guys, go ahead, please. Don't kill the clock now. <laughs> Guys, go ahead, please. Open check by six digits. Go. Again, on behalf of the club of Boston, congratulations to be an audio. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Club of Boston. Now you know. Boo, 
that your wife is worth more than money. Thank you. What a beautiful lesson. Thank you so much. DJ Usher, the Club of Boston. Now, thank you, Club of Boston. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Mr. Zabo. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Baba Bowser. Terrific, terrific. Look at all our videos. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Now, while the double person is heading out, the CC sisters are coming in. DJ, please put music down so we can welcome the CC sisters. For those of us who don't have CC sisters, The new champion, a lot of good things in our community. The new wonderful things. We have missed them for two years because of pandemic. Because they have always given us a treat to special annual event. The CC sisters passed. The for two years we didn't have it because of pandemic. So we are looking forward to that occasion. But here they come. The CC sisters are always in a special way trying to do it in a very special way too. When you were not rolling the attack of my heart, very good, CC sisters. Please, if you have your wife in Susie, if you are if your daughter, if she's Susie, my your mother is in Susie, join the line. If you are wife, your daughter, your husband, is a member of Susie, join the line. Or if your friend is a member of Susie, join the line. This club, the champion, because it's like cancer, the fight for cancer, the fight for a lot of good causes in our community. This is a wonderful group to sit down. Thank you, Susie Sisters. Thank you, Susie Sisters.
I want to hand the microphone to to the co MC. What is she? At? Yes, yes. Mama, come over here. Yes, come over here and uh, usher in the next groups. All right. I say, Boston, 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 oh yeah, Massachusetts, oh yeah, New Hampshire, oh yeah. Hey, these people not there for this house today. Are they sleeping? It is raining out here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is happening for Afia and Boo. Their friends continue to show them love. Those who took up their time to be here are here to express their love and their joy that they are becoming an item. Ladies and gentlemen, I am biased, as you can already tell. You've seen that all evening. I am biased. I am here, not only as an MC, but I am also here as the president of the Country Girls, whom you just saw a minute ago or at the beginning of the program. And I'm here with my sisters from all over the country. I will call on the country girls. And we do not travel without our country boys, as we call them. They are our guardians, they are our husbands, and they are part of us. So I'm going to call on the country boys and the country girls to come in and shower our fellow country boy, our fellow country girl, and in the process, welcome to the club and welcome to the house, the newest country boy in town, Mr. Eric Boo. He's, he's going to learn very, very fast that the country girls is not something that we do, it is who we are. And you will have none other here to induct you into the group than our premier country boy, Dr. Nyon Chembe. And so, country girls, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for country girls. They're doing it. 